Slices one deep left center field. Freddie Freeman hits his first home run as a Dodger in his first at bat against the Braves. Chance. Crushes this ball on a high line to deep right and gone. Freddie Freeman with a two run shot. A screamer of a line drive that barely got more than like 15 feet off the ground. to Charlie and his family in a 2 nothing lead. Reaching back-to-back -back games over his last 10, those last two games in Philadelphia. He wastes no time pulling a base hit of his own. Betts hustles to third as Soto cuts it off. Freeman into second with a double and the Dodgers in business quickly. Freeman digs this one out to deep right center field. Soto's not going to get there. Off the wall. Locks in to score. Freddie Freeman with an RBI double, and the Dodgers lead 7 0. Freddie just being Freddie. Baseball down. Not trying to do too much. But this showing the power. Ooh, we almost went big fly right there. We got to get Freddie on a full body, wow. full body lift. Drives the first one that he sees. Deep center field. Freddie Freeman goes yard. First inning home run. Attacks the first pitch from Marquez. And it's 1-0 Dodgers on Freeman's ninth. Hitting streak is 12 with a bang. Feels an 0-2. A curve is hammered down the line. It is gone. Freddie Freeman home run. Dodgers strike first. this pitch I'll tell you why fastball in and then he throws a breaking ball in when you have the hitter conscious of a pitch in the better pitch would have been a split away or a fastball away I told you Freddie's good at getting the barrel of the bat to the ball well that was like a layup for him it's one of the best to ever do it that's right and Freeman one of the best right now hits it out to center and it's off the top of the wall Carlson played it perfectly fires back in the infield and Freddie Freeman you might want to start giving him the bonds treatment because they can't get him out. And that ball is hammered to center field. Yastrzemski going back, looking up over the wall. Freddie Freeman starts the second half with a home run. He's now hit in nine straight, and the Dodgers have a one nothing lead. Fifth home run allowed this season by Carlos Rodon, and the first thing that he did was look at wins behind the plate and said should I have elevated it more what happens when you don't against Freddie Freeman two strikes misses right down the middle this isn't about velo this is about location that right there was a blast Freddie Freeman yanks a base hit down the right field line that'll trickle towards the corner where Randall Grichik runs it down one run is in. Here comes Betts. He'll score without a throw. Two run double, Freddie Freeman. First hit of the night for him. 13 0 Dodgers. The spiral down when all of a sudden the same problems. Freddie Freeman knocks one the other way. Second hit of the game for him. Tries to turn it into a double, and he dies. 
What a great read. I mean, you're up 6-2. to two. There's not a whole lot of risk going for it with two outs, trying to get into scoring position. So that gets you out of the box in a hurry, makes you make a good turn and not even hesitate coming around first. And he goes one hit in front of Trey Turner as far as the hit leadership is concerned. And baseball, and a very nice slide to top it off. Adds to his major league leading doubles total as well. High fly ball down the line. If it's fair, goodbye. So long to nothing. On a free free and home run. Fly ball, a majestic drive. How far? Look out, pool. He hit it over the pool. Wow. Three nothing Dodgers on a pair of monstrous home runs. First Gettle, now Freeman. Man, when he hit that thing, I, I started to get anxious for that shark in the pool. 0-2 pitch. And the gap in the right center field. That will go to the wall. Trey Turner getting the wave around third. Who comes to the plate. He will score. And the Dodgers lead it 1-0. Freddie Freeman with double number 46. And his 95th run batted in. His major league leading 191st hit. It's a sweet swing, but it shows you where velocity and intimidation is not that high for the best hitters in the world, that you need a big-time fastball because he's got Freddie out in front, but because the fastball is at about 88, 89 miles an hour, the breaking ball, the change of speed that Wainwright accomplished, it's just not effective enough against a great hitter like Freeman. He is one for one, one pitch in. He's turning this single into a double. How do you like Freddie Freeman? I'm going to swing at the first one I like, and it is a fastball down the middle. He was ready to hit from go. Leave the on-deck circle, get in the box, and swing the bat one for one. Excuse me, Mr. Score. We had the option of splitting those two bases up into <laughs> two hits. Two hits. <laughs> we'll take it. To play and who's not going to play. Guys know their roles. Um, Freddie needs that one right there. Get ball. Deep left center field. It's gone. He's coming. Two for two. Two pitches. Two hits. Two away from a batting title. He needed that one, boys. That's a big hit right there. Unreal. So with Jeff McNeil not in the lineup in New York, if Freddie Freeman goes four for four, he wins the batting title. And he's gone two for two on two pitches with a single and a home run. Let's do it with a cycle.